One, ignition, hit, full power, and the stop. Group captain Shubhan Shushukla is all set to become the second Indian in the space with the launch of Axiom 4, marking the evolution of India's journey into human space flight, where he will spend 14 days in the International Space Station conducting experiments. From a cost free flight in 1984 to a $2.32 billion human space flight program today. Well, let me decode what India is spending to put humans into space and why it's still one of the most cost-efficient missions in the world. India's first human space flight costed us zero. Well, thanks to the Soviet Union in 1984, where Rakesh Sharma flew for free as it was sponsored by the USSR. But in 2025, India is paying $2.32 billion to send an astronaut to the ISS via Axon Space and SpaceX. According to reports, India paid $60 to $70 million to book a seat for Group Captain Shubhanshu Shukla abroad the Axiom 4 mission. The cost also includes training expenses for backup astronaut Captain Prashant Balakrishnan Nair, who will act as Shukla's alternative for the mission. The cost covered astronaut training, launch services via SpaceX and a two-week stay. Meanwhile, the flagship Gaganyaan Human Spaceflight Program, originally approved with a budget of $1.1 billion, has now been revised to $2.32 billion. Well, the Gaganyaan program is India's first indigenous effort to send humans into space. The mission aims to launch Indian astronauts into a 400-kilometer orbit and return them with a controlled splashdown in the Indian Ocean. According to ISRO, the $2.32 billion budget includes two crewed missions now scheduled for 2027 and 2028, as well as six uncrewed test missions beginning late 2024. These precursor flights will validate systems such as the crew escape mechanism and re-entry safety. The program also includes initial work for a long-term goal. The Bharatiya Antarik Station, India's own orbital station, is expected to begin its construction by 2028 and become fully operational by 2035. Despite the expansion, Gaganyaan remains one of the most cost-efficient human spaceflight programs globally. India's program costs a fraction of what global space giants are spending. While the United States is reportedly spending over $93 billion on its Artemis missions and China has invested up to $12 billion in its space station, India is delivering a similar capability for less than 3% of Artemis cost. This continues ISRO's reputation for frugal innovation, a legacy seen in the Mars Orbiter mission, which reportedly cost just $74 million, which was less than the Hollywood movie Gravity Budget. Well, India's current space investments are not just about prestige, they are strategic and long-term. With a growing focus on sovereignty in high-tech sectors, the Human Spaceflight Program is designed to build indigenous capability that supports the economy, national security and scientific development. An Indian astronaut program reduces dependence on foreign rockets and boosts domestic innovation in aerospace, automation, AI and advanced materials. ISRO's future plans include a fully operational Indian space station by 2035 and a crewed lunar mission by 2040. The country is also investing in reusable launch vehicles, deep space habitats and satellite constellations. We on Decode's complex issues in simple terms for you. What do you want us to decode next? Let me know in the comments.